Hello, it is I, Aaronado18, here once again. I hear I got girls, and uh, I'm going to do an only review for Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Is the name of the movie that I saw in the theater with Marcus Steven. Uh, it was a pretty fun, funny movie, and, and, and stuff like that. And I, uh, the first one was, was with Robert Williams. This is the sequel to the first one. Uh, the first one was a board game, and, and the second one it turned into a video game uh, console uh, this time. And they still get sucked in like, the same way they changed the board game uh, uh, one again. So apparently this one they have like three lines and did stuff like that. And this was a, a Jack Black was in this movie. Uh, Kevin Hart or, or, or was in it. Tenor and Karen Gillian. And stuff like that. I, I thought it was a pretty fun, funny movie. It was uh, hilarious uh, and uh, funny. I give this movie a 7 out of 10. I mean, uh, IMDb gave it a, a 10. That was a pretty uh, uh, funny movie. I, I really enjoyed it. I, I had fun. It came close to uh, how much money it made to Star Wars. But uh, Star Wars still made more. I, I like to go to, uh, to Google to, to see the description of, of the movie. There's like... First of all, it started off with four, uh, four uh, high school kids. And of course, uh, the, high, the black uh, kid in it came out. Uh, Kevin Hart was the black guy. The black high school kid was a football player, apparently. And apparently, two of them were, were friends. With It was a really funny movie. Uh, Dwayne Johnson uh, is in the movie as well. And uh, of, of course, Jack Black and the comedian and uh, Karen Killian is the girl who was from Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, I guess. I, I don't know. She was the sister of Gamora uh, from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, uh, I don't remember the name, but yeah, yeah. And there's a little description uh, here for the movie, and it says, uh, Four high school kids discover an old video game console and are drawn into the game's jungle setting. Literally, literally becoming the adult uh, avatars they choose. What they discover is that you don't just play Jumanji. They must survive it. To beat the game and return to the real uh, world, they'll have to go the most dangerous adventure of their lives. Discover what Alan Parrish left 20 years ago and change the way they think about themselves or they'll be stuck in the game forever. Uh, apparently, to, to the characters be, had a crush on each other. Uh, and, and it will be, I, I guess, a, I, don't, I don't want to spoil too much uh, for you, but... Right, yeah, this movie came out in uh, December 20th. It's a movie, it's a 2017 uh, movie. I mean, IMDb gave it a 7.3 out of 10. And Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 77%. And 92% of people on Google uh, liked it. And Bobby uh, Cannavale, Alice Wolfen, that is his men or high school kids. I, I, I guess, I, I don't know. And there's some kids' uh, dad discovered the board game on a beach uh, somewhere, in, it was on the sand. 
Çiçek Rav dediği Resul-i Ezel bu arada bahaydım. Ezel'in çocuğu bir game kartı var. 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 And uh, yeah, I, I enjoy making movie reviews like this. Uh, I thought it was a pretty fun, entertaining movie uh, for the day. And, and of course, Marcus and Steve were, were, were laughing and stuff. And, and it was a pretty funny movie. But they didn't, they didn't have any spiders like they did in the first one. Uh, this time, or the monkeys. They didn't do that. There were no monkeys in this one. And there were no spiders in this one either. I know the first one had monkeys and stuff. And now nobody turned into a monkey in this movie yet, either. It's kind of a, a reboot of the other one. That came out 20 years ago, or in the 90s or something. Like 96 or something. It's not really too far along. I know Rob, Robin Williams was in the first one. Apparently he's not going to be in the second one because he's not. Yeah, he's already dead, so... But no, this one is not a follow-up uh, to the other one. At all. And Kirsten Dunst is not in this one either. All the other actors from the original ones are not in this one. This The sequel to Jim Rodney is all new uh, actors. Uh, and, and, and it was a pretty fun movie. I, I, I like comedies and, and stuff. And I like Kevin Hart. He's funny and, uh, and Dwayne Johnson. They're pretty uh, funny to watch, uh, watch, I guess. Sometimes I laugh so hard, I, I cry because I laugh so hard. But, uh, yeah. So it was a pretty uh, decent um, film. And, I mean, if you enjoy comedies, uh, you can you go, see it, go see the movie. I don't know if it's still in the theater or not, but I'm sure it is. But I, I hope you go, go and watch it. Uh, for your deal pleasure. I you guess, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick little review on uh, on the movie uh, and stuff. It's a uh, it's a it's a pretty decent uh, uh, movie. I mean, I, I had to see it because I saw the first one. No, this is not a. It's a Columbia Pictures and Radar Pictures. It's not a Disney. A movie. I don't know. If it probably is, but. It doesn't say if it. It doesn't say it's a Disney movie or anything like that. Okay, the radio seems pretty good uh, to me. I always write my uh, outros and intros down on my notes uh, for my uh, videos and stuff. And yeah, it's not uh, pretty cool. I mean, the, the movie's fun, uh, you know. I just don't. I just don't want to spoil it too much. I want you to enjoy it for yourself uh, and uh, uh, stuff like that. Yeah, I'd, I'd, uh, I I wouldn't highly recommend it. I would just recommend if you if you are into this kind of movie and uh, go see it for yourself because I had a lot of fun and my dad had fun in the movie and um, uh, Mark and Steven I had fun and, the movie, and they pretty much gave the same kind of rating I think. And, uh, yeah, uh, I, uh, I mean, it was kind of silly and, uh, a little bit there. So the story was okay, uh, I guess, and uh, stuff like that, but it was still entertaining uh, and fun. I didn't like the comedy, uh, I like comedies and stuff like this. Uh, and, uh... It was, a, it was a little far-fetched uh, there, a little bit, and, and CGI is up. Other than that, it was a pretty decent uh, film. It was just a, a decent movie, uh, is all. All right, that's, I don't want to spoil too much. Uh, and then, two the high school kids uh, kissed uh, in the movie as well. I, 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 
turn it on not much more, it's just a comedy. And it's cool how they turn it into a video game. It's not a uh, cultural it's not a, it was a, it was a nostalgic. It's not kind of movie. I mean, you have adults would like this kind of movie. If people from church would like this movie. Our friends would, uh, I don't know. It, it is a little inappropriate at, at, at times, but... Yeah. So it's just a, a silly movie. Uh... And, uh, here's my outro. Uh, now, I don't want to make the video too long, so I'm going to make this one short. Alright, uh, here, here it goes. It is I, Aaron Halo 18, signing off, and see you in the next video. Guys and girls, please rate, like, favorite, subscribe, view, thoughts, and opinions. I hope you enjoyed it and liked it for your viewing pleasure. Uh, guys and girls, Stay tuned for more, guys and girls. My gross Rolo says, uh, please drink some hot chocolate. And I'll see you all uh, later. All right, stop it. Yeah, it was a fun movie. Yeah, I'd probably uh, watch it again when my dad does. I'd probably watch one of my movie nights or, or something like that. I, I don't know. Yeah, and uh, the the one year high school girl became Jack Black in the movie. The rock football player became Kevin Hart. Yeah. And the dark skinned kid became Tony Johnson. Yeah. The redhead became from a non attractive to a very attractive. Oh, um, I don't know. It was just a funny movie. So it is it, all. I, I gave my intro out there, so I hope you uh, liked my intro. And yeah, well, hopefully they uh, eventually do it. I think I did it with my new camera to, to show it off or something. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Uh, okay. I just wanted to give you this quick update of the movie and review. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't done reviews for a full lot. I should start doing more videos more often. Yeah, this year I'm going to do a ton of videos. Uh, this year. And yeah, I'm a pretty happy kid. And I had a smile there. So, okay. Alright, bye. See you later. See you in the next video.